Alright, this is Calibos. We are playing antimatter chemistry. So in the last episode we went ahead and we made our drop of evil. Just right there. Um, in between episodes we actually got you know, second chicken and it grew up and I have farmed the chicken. Uh, I also went ahead and put a <clears throat> uh, an iron forge upgrade in our, uh, oxygen. Did clear our stuff out a little bit here. And I also made a full stack of dirt. I have the, the salmon jerky. I went ahead and dried it on these drying racks from uh, Construct. Pretty simple to make. Um, I just went for the, the dark oak version. I have a lot of dark oak. So here's kind of my plan for uh, for mob spawner. So I went ahead and I've got a bunch of... I don't want this to be plain stone. Ooh, got some, got some hearts. So... What I'd like to do, I'd like to be We've got this big empty space, I'm not yep. so probably going to be down. stand lock. Put it there. Uh, you know, I guess I actually want it to go lengthwise. So for the moment, I'm going to put it here. Um, <clears throat> this is actually going to be kind of annoying. I don't have anything that really... So I don't have a mob crusher yet. Um, I don't think that we have. I don't honestly think that we have a lot of. So we could do this. The trick is we don't have. We don't have a lot of diamonds. So this makes them drop XP, and this makes them just die. So for the moment, what I'm probably going to do is try and make iron spikes. And just place them so that they'll kill mobs, and then we'll just pick up the loot. But that's going to require a lot of iron. Uh, so I guess what we'll do is we'll hit wooden spikes and then we'll try to to upgrade. But my general goal is something along the lines of it's gonna be our killing platform. Then we want to this up. And we'll put dirt here. Here we'll have our side. I want this three high. Now this is. This is by far not a really great design. I think that I'm making a weird masterful design that everybody needs to copy. This is going to be but 
No, it's going to be my garbage. Um, I think the big thing here is going to be that I'm setting it up for... I'm setting it up for... Um, I'm setting it up to kill the mobs on its own, uh, long term, rather than, probably should have made more dirt. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so I'm going to need Six, eighteen more dirt. So I'll pause it here and then come back with some more dirt and some more stone. All right, be right back. Okay, so I've got some more dirt. I've got some more stone. Uh, dust this a little bit. Get up there. Uh, I, I'm also looking at this and I'm wondering if I need it to be a little bit wider for easy math and just to give myself some more spawning area. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So for an easy amount of math, I'm thinking... <coughs> uh, I'm thinking that I need to make this two wider. It actually comes out to twelve. Yes, I guess we'll do that. And the reason I'm thinking that this might be a good idea and easy math. Um so if we do this by fours, because our spike recipe uh, creates four spikes, dirt short. Um, just make a 4x4 four four killing area, and then when we get machines, I mean, size is not as important, I guess. So we needed this to be 3 high, so that's, that's going to be really important. Uh, I'm glad that we don't have to worry about mob spawning otherwise. The other consideration is I'm wondering if I needed to make this one higher than I did, but I suspect that we might just be able to drop it without too much ink. Having the bedrock right there is a little weird, not having to worry about bedrock this close. up the outside from the bottom, I guess. I just would really like to get this online as quickly as possible. We are going to run out of stone, so that is fine. I am going to have to just go ahead and make some more. Uh, I guess I'll pause for that too. I don't know how excited you guys are about, are about watching me find infinite numbers or whatever. Nope, no 
already made stone. Sweet. That's that. Next goal is back wall. Um, so I'm going to mark the back wall here a little bit as we are going to be placing uh, fans. So I want to place fans, well, I guess how many fans I want to place. Again, remember what I said about easy math? That works out pretty nicely. So the goal is going to be... Come look at the underside and the back. Uh, go ahead and take some cobble. So if I turn on uh, this lever, it's going to activate that block, which will charge you know, the block to the right, above, and left of it. And by skipping two spaces for the middle ones, you know, it's not, you know, I'm being more efficient with, you know, where that's going to go. So next up here is going to be the front. So this is going to be our killing area. this slightly wider here. Um, now, with the too wide area here, I'm very concerned actually about creepers. Uh, the difficulty is I needed it too wide because I want spiders and spider bits. I don't want anything to be able to uh, Okay, so we're just going to front all the way up. Uh, later on, I'd like to go ahead and once we have... Well, I suppose we could make some glowstone lamps. I guess. A lamp possibility. So later on, I'd like to make glowstone lamps so we can turn all of this off for purposes of um, don't want anything to be able to get back up so I have no idea if uh, exactly what the spawning rules are here. So it is entirely possible that that's dark enough to spawn things. Faster. 
plan is for the moment that we're going to put spikes down. So assuming that we're putting spikes down, we're going to need that extra space for the spikes to have a place to sit. We're going to need front facing here. Gain the So spikes are there. Um, I believe that they should be able to. Spikes are here. This is the level for the spikes. I believe that vacuum hoppers. Tell me we have. All right. So once we get our first ender pearl, we can we can go ahead and make a vacuum hopper. Now I believe the vacuum hoppers will in fact pull through a half slab. Uh, I'm 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 counting on this. I I hope it is true. But. In case it is not having a little extra. Now I prefer to make dark glass. Um, but that's going to be quite a bit of work, honestly. I mean, we could make sand and sandy glass and smelt it down. Um, so we could do it. I think what I'll do is I'll wait on it, though. We'll get this functional so that we have our extra. I think that we have child zombies in the game, so I'm going to set it up so that child zombies can't get through. Like that. Creepers are going to be a big problem. Slabs. Right. So we'll need a place to stand for us. Slabs. But hopefully, nothing can us. By the way, while we're doing our uh, thing, oh, oh, no, no, that. That would have been dumb. We actually need to put the fans in there. So let's look at our iron possibility. So fans. Um, we are going to need a number of these fans. The halves, the stone slabs are going to be easy. So we're going to need one set of iron bars. And then we're going to need 12 iron ingots. So 18 iron ingots total. Look at our iron possibilities here. Iron wasn't so expensive. 
can take it. iron up off the ground over here Too much that we're going to be trying to make spikes we're going to be trying to make fans i mean that's right So we'll need that. That stone. Twelve slabs. Uh, have enough iron. So let's go ahead and throw down for fans. That is not a crafting. That should give us the 12 fans. Throw our additional nonsense in here. Now, I'm not sure how I want to have this look as far as access. But let's go. Let's go verify that my process works. Over here. Ouch. Turn all three fans on. All three fans. So all of all three fans are in. Now we can turn them on. If we set up the drop of evil, it will immediately start working and we'll we'll have stuff show up here. Uh, and that's great. The difficulty is going to be Um, you know, how are we killing it? So we can stab through here, but I'll actually make us to stab through. Lines us up. Anything in the back will actually be able to see us. So if there's a creeper back there, it will it will kill us. Um, so let's look at spikes. Where did we end up getting? So for the moment, we're looking at uh, wooden spikes. That's the best I've got. Hold on. I am about to sneak. Uh, I'm loving that pause button. So we've got most of our design finished. Uh, it's just a matter of arranging for spikes. So after some thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to episodes. I'm going to farm for iron. Uh, we're going to need. Uh, so it's 12, right? So we'll need. Uh, what? Uh, one, one, four, five. We're going to need eight craftings of it. Uh, so we're going to need eight craftings of the... Or eight craftings of that. So I'm just going to go have to, have to arm a lot of iron. 
So eight craftings of this is two, four, six, eight, nine. Ooh. I need 18 per. So uh, we're talking about Ooh. just just a metric ton of iron. I need stacks and stacks and stacks of whatever. It's 18 times eight, which is like 70 times uh, six, seven times eight, 56. So what is that 576? Ingots works out to times six for the um, uh, the actual element. So yeah, I'm gonna do that between episodes. It's gonna be super grindy. I'm pretty solid. You don't want to watch. Uh, let's have some fish. Great, right? Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, leave me a like. If you didn't, don't. The other things that we'll look forward to is see whether anything spawns in there on its own. But our, uh, our nether wart farm is starting to come along. We now have chickens. More chickens. That one. And now I have extra chickens on top of that. Start making calcium pretty reliably. So, yeah. If you liked it, if you did, leave me a like. If you didn't, don't. Questions, comments, concerns can all go below. You guys are fabulous. Thanks for coming. Have a good night.